The Voyager mission took advantage of a rare planetary alignment where all four of the outer planets could be visited during the same mission. Such an alignment only happens once every 176 years. Two probes were launched separately to complete this mission. Voyager 2 was launched first in 1977. About two weeks later, its twin, Voyager 1, was launched at a faster velocity. After about two years, Voyager 1 was the first of the twin probes to reach Jupiter, giving scientists a close-up view of its stormy clouds. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Seen here is the Great Red Spot, a gigantic rotating storm in Jupiter's atmosphere. At its largest, the Great Red Spot could fit four entire Earths inside of it. Jupiter is made out of the same ingredients as the Sun, mostly hydrogen and helium. The Voyager missions also discovered that Jupiter has faint rings made up of dark particles of dust left over from the creations of its moons. As the Voyager probes flew by the gas giant, they studied many of its largest moons. Io is in a tug of war between massive Jupiter and the other large moons and is stretched and squeezed by gravity, causing Io's interior to heat up dramatically, creating erupting volcanoes that constantly renew the moon's surface layer. Before moving on, the Voyager mission made another revolutionary discovery at one of Jupiter's moons, Europa. They found evidence that under its cracked icy surface, there may be a liquid ocean of water, making it a candidate for possible microscopic life in our solar system. Both probes continued their journey reaching the next gas giant, Saturn. Saturn's rings are much easier to spot than Jupiter's because instead of just rock and dust, they also contain ice, which can reflect more of the sun's light. The ring system extends up to 175,000 miles into space, but is very thin, only about 30 feet thick on average. Similar to Jupiter, Saturn is also mostly made out of hydrogen and helium, but it is the least dense planet in our solar system. It is less dense than water. This means that if you somehow created a giant cup of hot chocolate and you put Saturn inside, Saturn would float like an adorable planetary marshmallow. As we pan up to see some of Saturn's moons, take a look below us at the North Pole. Voyager 2 was the first to notice that there is a hexagon-shaped jet stream. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, was of extreme interest to scientists. In order to get a close flyby of Titan, Voyager 1 adjusted its trajectory. Titan was found to have a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, the only other place known in the solar system other than Earth. After Voyager 1's encounter with Jupiter, Saturn, and Titan, the combination of its fast launch velocity and gravity assist from Saturn allowed it to break the existing record for the fastest craft and shoot above the orbits of our planets. Voyager 2 continued on to reach Uranus in 1986. Voyager 2 is still the only probe that has passed by our furthest ice giant planets, Uranus and Neptune. Data from Voyager 2 show that Uranus's axis is tipped on its side, while the other seven planets of our solar system can be thought of as spinning tops with slight axial tilts. Uranus can be thought of as a ball rolling on its side around the sun. This makes its north pole experience 21 years of nighttime in its winter and 21 years of daytime during its summer. Like Jupiter and Saturn, both Uranus and Neptune are made up of hydrogen and helium and have faint rings, but they also contain some methane, giving them their blue colors. The last stop on Voyager 2's journey was Neptune. It is so far away that it cannot be seen with the unaided eye from Earth. Neptune's winds can be nine times stronger than anything experienced on Earth. The clouds of frozen methane travel at speeds of over 1,200 miles per hour. 
Voyager 2 then continues on its path out towards interstellar space. In 2012, 35 years after the mission launch, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to exit our solar system. In 2018, Voyager 2 follows its twin and enters interstellar space. The Voyager probes will continue to travel away from our solar system long after we are able to receive data transmissions from them. Attached to each of them are the Golden Record, kind of like a time capsule. These records were intended to convey stories of our distant world if the probes are ever discovered by extraterrestrials. However, if found passing by a distant star, the Voyager probes will have already been traveling for billions of years, making the probes and the records simply just evidence of an ancient civilization from billions of years ago. If you were given the chance, what message would you put on a record that could potentially be found by aliens billions of years in the future? Thank you.